it's better for us to stay here and sing than it is for us to play the guitar and the drums. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try this again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us stand tonight and go to the Lord in prayer. Thankful for everyone that's come out to the house of the Lord. Let's just get in tonight and worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you what, he is worthy of our praise. Praise the Lord. I, you know, we serve a great God. All we have to do is just yield to him. And, and I tell you what, he'll do great things in our lives. Amen. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Father in heaven, Lord, as we come tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you tonight, Father. We thank you. And Lord, it's a privilege tonight, Father, Lord, to be able to come to your house and just worship you in spirit and in truth tonight, Father. Lord, we ask you to pour your spirit out tonight upon this service. Lord, just have your way once again in everyone's lives, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. Remain standing, and we'll just do something religious tonight. If I can have the ushers come up. That's pretty well, after you drained me today, that's deep. Well, you got to learn to play golf. You know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Amen. 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 His grace endureth forever. Let's pray over this offering tonight. Extend your hand this way and let's just pray. Father in heaven, Lord, as we come tonight, Father, with one mind and one accord, Father, Lord, once again, what a privilege it is to give back to you just a small portion of what you give to us each and every day, Father. And Lord, I just ask you to bless this offering tonight, Father. Lord, you know it's going to be used for your glory. Father, I pray that many, many souls will be saved and born into the kingdom of God, Father. And Lord, that through this offering, Father, Lord, that people will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you tonight, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 May God bless you. Jeffrey. Hi, Brother Steve. We have no keyboard. Feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. With the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. It's the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me. I feel the rain, I feel the rain, I feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain, I feel the rain, I feel it falling down on me. Well, the former and the latter rain together, and I'm not talking about the weather. It's the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain. I 
feel the rain. Feel it falling down on me. With the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. It's, it's the, the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me.
Does anybody know what an old time testimony service is all about? It is. You don't stand and give glory to the devil. I don't want to hear. I want to. I want to have a testimony service tonight before I preach, and and uh, don't stand up and give glory to the devil. Amen. If you got something good to say about the Lord, stand up and say it. If not, stay in your seat. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Right there. 
Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. That was no accident going to the big TV. Praise the Lord. Anyone? Yes. Amen. 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 Well, I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful for the privilege of being a part of this church. I believe that God has got great things ahead for New Beginning Church of God. And I'm thankful that maybe I'll get to see part of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anyone else before we close? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles tonight, go with me in Philippians chapter 1, starting in verse 1. This is how it reads. Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints, in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishop and deacons. Grace be unto you, and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making request with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing. That he which has begun a good work in you. Will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Father in heaven as we come tonight. Father in one mind and one accord. Father Lord we just come to love you tonight Father. Lord, we just come to praise you. We come to lift you up. We come to glorify your holy name. And Father, we just come to let you know that thank you for the plan of salvation. Thank you for loving us so much that you was willing to give your only begotten son, to give his life on Calvary, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We thank you. And we praise you tonight, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's, Nancy, if you would, let's go back to verse 1. I want to take this, if I could, a verse at a time tonight. But verse 1 said this, Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops, and deacons 
Now, church, first of all, I want you to know that what Paul is doing here tonight, I, or what Paul is doing here, I want you to know that he's not, he's not saying anything about his apostleship. But what he's doing, he's thanking the Philippian church for their love and their care that they had not only for him, but the respect and love they have one for another. Now, church, I want you to know something tonight. Now, you, I want you to stop and think about that. Church, I, I, believe that, I believe that the reason that Paul can say this was because they were founded upon the Lord Jesus Christ. They were founded upon the rock. And, I, and here Paul is. He's in Rome. He's in, a, he's in the prison. But yet he's thinking back. And he's thinking back. And he, he's just thanking them. I want you to know for their love and their care and, and their stand, I believe, for the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Hallelujah. You know, when we look back upon the church, we ought to be able to look back and thank God upon every remembrance. I want you to know that everything that he's done on the inside of the church house, amen, we ought to thank him for every soul that's been saved, amen? We need to thank him for everyone that's been filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. We need to thank him for every miracle and every healing that's ever been done in the church, amen? We need to thank him on every remembrance that we have in all the work I want you to know that he's done on the inside of the church house. And not only the work that he has done, <coughs> excuse me, but the work also that he's going to do, that he's going to do. I believe what Paul is saying here, he's just thanking the Philippian church for a healthy church, amen? Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something. When you disciple young people, I believe you got a healthy church. I believe when you reach out to the middle-aged people and try to disciple them, you got a healthy church. I believe when you reach out to the older people uh, and you're trying to disciple them, uh, I believe you've got a healthy church. Uh, do you hear me tonight, church? Hallelujah. And verse 3 said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. So church, when I read verse 3, I look at this. I think Paul's got a thankful heart even though he's in the prison in Rome. And he's thinking back. He's not thinking about himself. He's not thinking about him sitting in prison. But I want you to know he's thinking about the Philippian church. He's thinking about the work that God is doing. Hallelujah. Church, you know, sometimes if we're not careful, uh, we can get thinking about ourselves uh, and we can kind of get down in the molly grubs uh, and we can begin to say, oh me, uh, and the next thing you know, our mind is not on Christ Jesus uh, and it's not on the work uh, that he's doing uh, and the work that he wants to do. Sometimes he can't do a work uh, because we don't let him do a work. Hallelujah. Even though there's a great distance from Paul and the Philippian church, I want you to know, and even though their prison was not there with him, but I want you to know that he had the memory. I want you to know of what they had, what had been done in the church house. Do you hear me, church? Hallelujah. I want you to know that I believe he was remembering the love and the care that they reached out to him with. Hallelujah. I believe he's remembering them the support, how they supported him in, in everything that he did. I want you to know, church, I think it's time uh, that we begin to thank God uh, for what he is doing uh, in our lives uh, and what he's doing in the church. Hallelujah. Now, church, I want you to know something. Uh, I, want, I, I, I want you to go back to some. I want you to go back to Sunday night and the message that uh, uh, Devin preached Sunday night. Now, church, listen to me. I've been in this thing for 40 years. And most of the time that when somebody preaches their first message, I want you to know it doesn't last that long. They're nervous and, 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 and you know, it, it, it just seems like it does. I, I'll tell you what, that man went 30, 40 minutes, didn't he, Michael? He went 30 or 40 minutes and loved every minute of it. Hallelujah. 
I believe that God is raising up some young people uh, in here in New Beginning Church of God uh, that's going to carry on the work uh, that God's got them to do, church. Uh, do you hear me? I believe it's just the beginning uh, of what God is wanting to do. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, church? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Paul's just thankful for the Philippian church. Church, shouldn't we be thankful for one another? Shouldn't we be thankful that we are brothers and sisters in Christ? I, I mean, honestly, church, listen. Shouldn't we come together in unity and in peace? Hallelujah. I believe the Philippians had unity. I believe they had peace. Uh, I want you to know in the church and, 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 and church, Paul's, re, Paul's reflecting back on all of this. Hallelujah. Church, the first thing, let me tell you something tonight. There's one way that Satan can tear up the church, uh, and that, that is taking unity and peace out of the church, uh, and Satan will destroy the church. So we need to have peace uh, and unity uh, in the church house. Hallelujah. We need to love those that comes in off the street. We need to love them on the inside of the church house. Hallelujah. That may be not saved. Well, Brother Ager, you're judging. No, I'm not judging. Lots of times people come in the church house uh, and, they're, and they're not saved, but that God's drawn them here. Uh, and I want you to know God's trying to do a work, and we need to do a work. We need to reach out to them uh, and let them know that we love them. Hallelujah. And we respect them. Hallelujah. Paul's reflecting back on all of this. In Colossians, the third chapter, and verse 15, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. I want to read that again. And let the peace of God Rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Now, church, the world doesn't have the peace uh, that can rule in your heart. I want you to know that this, this peace that I'm talking about, uh, can I say it's a divine peace uh, that only God can give? Uh, and it says, let the peace of God rule in your heart to the which also ye are called uh, in one body. You're called in one body. That one body is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We might have different denominations in the church world today, church, but we're just one body. Amen. And it's the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are all in one body. Now, everybody knows. Everybody knows that I give Bobby Pollard a hard time. When we're around, I mean, I just, I give him a hard time. His daughter told me to. No. <laughs> but I've always, you know, but let me tell you something. We do it in fun and because I want to tell you something. I love that man. He's a man of God. He's, a, I can remember back the first message that he preached, and I was there when he preached it that night. And I've always had such a respect for him. Hallelujah. But let the peace of God rule. Let the, do you understand what I'm saying? Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. If you don't have the peace of God ruling in your heart, then church, you're not going to have peace with everybody in the church. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This may not be popular, but it's what the Lord put on my heart. Amen. Verse 4. In Philippians, in verse 4, this is what it said. Always in every prayer of mine, for you all making request with joy. For always in every prayer of mine for you, all making request, request, I'll get it out here in a minute, with joy. Hallelujah. I want you to know that 
Once again, even though Paul's in prison, I want you to know he's got the joy of the Lord. Amen? The Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Church, I believe that when we got the joy of Jesus uh, on the inside, church, uh, I believe uh, on the inside of our heart, uh, I tell you what, church, we've got everything. Amen? Hallelujah. And I want you to know that, listen, this joy is divine. This joy is joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This joy does not depend upon circumstances. Uh, it doesn't depend upon happiness. Uh, but listen to me, church. Uh, this joy tonight uh, is the joy uh, and the strength uh, that only Jesus uh, can give you and I. Uh, do you hear me tonight, church? Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Luke chapter 15 and verse 7, I want you to know that repentance brings joy. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Hallelujah. Let me read that again. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. Hallelujah. I believe when somebody comes to the Lord, church, I want you to know, I believe there's shouting going on in heaven. Amen. I don't know if angels can shout or not, uh, but I believe that Jesus looks over at the Father uh, and said, there's another one of mine. Hallelujah. I believe there's joy. Hallelujah. Joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, church? Over one sinner that repenteth. Hallelujah. If you're here tonight and you're a born again child of God, uh, let me tell you something tonight. There come a time in your life uh, when you had to repent. Amen. There came a time in your life when you had to call upon that name. That name that is above every name, uh, you had to call upon that name. And you had to ask him to come down and be Lord and Savior of your life. Hallelujah. And until you ask him, you're not saved. You can think it, but you're not saved till you ask him. When you ask him, you enter into that personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I can remember the day, the morning that I got saved uh, at Best City Church. I want you to know uh, I'd been out on the road all week long. Uh, the wife had told me she got saved uh, a week before that. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, here this little alcoholic boy uh, not knowing anything. Uh, all of a sudden I thought my life was over with. Uh, do you hear me tonight, church? Uh, but I want you to know that morning when I walked into the church house uh, and the old time uh, Holy Ghost conviction uh, was all over me. Uh, I want you to know uh, I knew that I knew that I knew uh, that I had to do something. Hallelujah. You can't get away from it. You can't outrun it. You can't not, you can't not just pretend that it's not happening. Because that old time conviction is just all over you. And I remember the preacher, Brother Glenn Means. I, I took the thing. We went to Sunday school that morning, uh, church, and I couldn't even look up at the Sunday school teacher. I looked down and, and, and stared down uh, through the whole Sunday school class. I didn't know. I, 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 I didn't know why. I just knew that. I guess I felt like a dirt bag. I don't know. <clears throat> Church service started that morning and the singing started and everybody's singing. <laughs> Kenny Regger just looking down, holding on to the front pew. I think if I remember right, we were standing. And all of a sudden, here come the preacher. And he come down and just he said, he 
He said, why don't we go get this over with? And I went down to that altar. And I'm here to tell you, when I cried out to him and I said the magic words. Did you know there's magic words that you have to say? And those magic words are, Lord, forgive me. Because I'm a sinner. Lord, forgive me. And I want you to know at that time, they were just, I, I'll tell you what, it was just like the whole world was lifted off me. I could, I could, I didn't have to stare down at the floor anymore. I could look up. Can I tell you how I felt? No, I cannot. I, I don't know how I felt that day. As I walked around all day long not knowing and not understanding. Church, I'm talking about what God can do. I, I, I was a I was a, I was an alcoholic that you know that morning when I walked into that church house the only difference is I didn't go to the meetings I don't know why I'm saying this church I have no idea but I want to tell you something tonight church when I said yes to Jesus, I never had another problem with that at all in, in all of my life. I want you to know God delivered me. Amen. I walked around that day and I had no idea how I felt. But I can tell you this much. For the first time in my life, I felt clean. I just felt clean. Amen. I want you to know that Jesus, Jesus makes a difference when we cry out to him. And joy, I believe there was joy in heaven that morning. Hallelujah. In John chapter 16 and verse 24, there's joy in prayer. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you excuse me, and ye shall receive that your joy might be full. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. I love the joy of the Lord. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. 1 John chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. That which, ye, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. These things write we unto you that your joy might be full. I believe that fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ will bring joy in your life. Do you hear me, church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verse 5 in Philippians says, For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Hallelujah. I want you to know that our fellowship, the source of our fellowship, should be in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He died for our sins. He arose on the third day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is sitting on the right hand of the Father. He conquered death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. We don't have to go to hell now because he arose from the grave. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. From the first day of our salvation, we experience the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. The most needful thing in the church house needed in the hour that you and I live in is unity Amen. and peace yes, in the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying, church? Yes, 
We need that peace and that unity. Hallelujah. When I think of unity, I think of everybody just getting along with one another. Everybody just getting along with the world that comes on the inside of the church. Amen. If there's ever a time that we need to get the world out of the church uh, and get Christ back in the church, uh, it's the hour that you and I are living in. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Verse 6 said this, Be in confidence of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying, church? Listen to me. Being confident. Being confident. Hallelujah. Being confident of this very thing. I know that I know that I know. And I believe that he's able. I want you to know I have the confidence in him that he's able that that work, good work that he has started in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And the way that I understand that church is this, uh, he'll perform it uh, until the day that Jesus comes back uh, and takes you and I uh, unto heaven. Hallelujah. I'm absolutely confident uh, of the work that he can do in our lives. Uh, I want you to know what God has started uh, in our lives. Uh, Satan cannot stop it uh, if we keep our eyes on him. Hallelujah. He wants to give us a life of righteousness and holiness. He wants to give us a life of love and joy and peace. And faith, hallelujah. But I want to go back to this one thing. He wants to give us a life of holiness. The Bible says, in which no man shall see the Lord. I believe in holiness, church, hallelujah. I want you to know that even though what Paul is saying here, that he's not perfect, you're not perfect, and I'm not perfect, uh, But God is able to perform the work uh, that he has started in you and I uh, until the day that Jesus Christ comes back for his church. Hallelujah. Being confident of this very thing, uh, that he which had begun a good work in you uh, will perform it uh, until the day uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, Do you hear me, church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In 2 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 12, this is what it said. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying, church? Uh, For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know in whom I have believed. I know in whom I have believed, church. Somebody said, how do you know that you're serving the right God? Uh, Because I believe in the one that I'm serving. Hallelujah. I know in whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded. Church, I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Hallelujah. That ought to cause you to shout all over the church house tonight. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, church? Uh, I'm talking about, listen, I believe that Paul was talking about a healthy church. I believe he's talking about about a healthy church. Hallelujah. Now, church, I want you to know something tonight. God is getting ready to do something big here at New Beginning Church of God. I believe that church with all, I believe it with all my heart. I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to be good. 
He's raising up some young preachers in the church. Hallelujah. Even though you've got an old one for the, a pastor and a pretty well old one for the associate. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would say that. I mean, I mean, God's raising up. God, listen, God, you know, let me say it this way. I believe God's raising up an army. I believe he's raising up an army. Do you understand what I'm saying, church? Now listen, I'm going to tell you something. If there's ever a time we need to take a stand for the Lord Jesus Christ, it's the hour that you and I live in. Amen? Now listen, we might, we, you know, election coming up, we're talking about who's going to be president in, and, and, and you better be praying who you need to vote for. Uh, but church, let me tell you something. Uh, they're not going to solve all the problems in the world. Uh, but let me tell you one man uh, that can solve them all, uh, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, if we can get him back, uh, I want you to know in the White House, uh, in, the, in the House, uh, in the Senate, uh, if we can get him back in our own houses, uh, if we can get him back all over the world uh, he can take care uh, of the problem uh, do you hear me church hallelujah he's the only one hallelujah let me read that verse one more time and I'm going to close I love this verse of scripture of course I'll read another one I'll tell you I love it too <laughs> for the which cause I also suffer these things Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed, for I know in whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hallelujah. Stand with me all over the church. Come on back up here, praise team. He's able. He's more than able. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that every time we come together and we have any kind of a crowd, where could I go? I believe that somebody has needs within their life. And if you have a need tonight, he's able. He's able. He's able.
church. You see this right here. This is training the children. This is training the children not to be ashamed of the altar and going to the altor to, to petition the Lord for their needs. Amen. This right here is what we, well, this is, this right here is what we need to desire within our church because these children, these children are the next step in the growth of this church. We train, we train them up here they grow into good Christian adults. Every one of us needs to raise, we need to extend our hands towards these children right now. And let's pray. Let's pray that God touches them. Let's pray that they, that they find what they're seeking for. Let's pray that God protects them as they go out through their, their out through this world. Amen. way with all of us, do you? There's so much more we can do for the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen.
Church, stand with me tonight all over the building, if you would, please. Everybody that could, I guess you are standing, aren't you? Thankful for everyone that's come out to the house of the Lord. Pray that we said something that might have been a blessing to you. You know, God is so good. That's right, all the time. I want to pray and ask God's blessing upon everyone that's come out. And before you leave, i got something else I want to say. Father in heaven, as we come tonight, Father Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for your word. Father Lord, we thank you for your spirit. Father, we thank you for the joy unspeakable and full of glory. Father, we thank you for the peace that comes that passes all understanding. Father, we just thank you for everything that you do for us. And Lord, I ask you tonight, Father Lord, to bless everyone that's come out. Father, and we just want you to know that we gather ourselves together to worship and to thank you, Father Lord, for all that you do for us. We love you and we thank you tonight, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, church, I don't, I, I, I'm usually here pretty well seven days a week. And, and uh, I got away today and me and Doug and a couple more guys went out and played around the golf. And I want to show you tonight just how much of a gentleman I am. I threw off today so Doug could win. <laughs> if you believe that, I got some land <laughs> out in Arizona, I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget men's breakfast Saturday morning, 8.30. Do what? Men's breakfast Saturday morning, 8.30. Women's ministry the following Monday. <laughs>